All right, no time to explain, gang. Welcome back, King Zeph here, back with another video for you guys and the first video of the year. Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to 2024. I hope you guys had a fantastic New Year's Eve right into the new year, as well as have set some pretty impressive and worthwhile goals for the, the um, this year or didn't set up any goals and just expect to do the exact same thing if you did well in 2023. But I digress. <laughs> Welcome to the new year. And we're gonna start this one off pretty much hot because we got a Rise of Floodborne Luminous Trove to crack open. But not, not just that, we also got the D100 collection, probably the most prized thing out of the chapter to pull out of this. Now, how in the world did this happen? Well, your boy King Zeph got very, very lucky. Um, the Luminous Trove, fortunately, because I guess product was becoming more and more available, even though it's still very difficult to find, I actually was able to get the Luminous Trove on StockX for the $50 that it costs. And then um, as for the D100, I did pay a little bit more than what it was worth. I know I'm an, a, a rider on MSRP, but it was only $10 more. I took, I took the leap forward. It was 60 bucks instead of 50. And because there was no line inside of seeing this anywhere and everywhere, everybody online and all the resellers were selling it for a hundred bucks, um, somebody had it for $60. I took, the, I took the leap. I'm like, well, with taxes and everything, I'm gonna pay close to $60 on it anyway. So I took the $5 L and just got it because it's not going to, I don't know if they're going to print more of these. They did say that these would be limited. Um, don't know how limited they're going to be or if they're going to make more of them. I have yet to see them in a store, nor if any of the uh, restocks. I've been seeing booster boxes and packs and decks. I have yet to see many trolls or that 100, Disney 100 collection. So I got my hands on it when I, when I saw it that low and went ahead and got it. So we're going to crack it open to start the year off. So remember, uh, set three is coming out in the middle of February, which will be... Uh, what is it? Uh, what is it? Uh, the Inklands or something like that into the Inklands or whatever it's called, where we have the location cars. I'll probably do another uh, informational video about that as the date gets closer for that one. And hopefully uh, I can pre-order that set and have that one ready for you guys when that comes out. But we'll see what happens. Don't know how Ravenberg is handling a lot of this other stuff, but they are improving. Chapter two was a little bit easier to get a hold of and they did have a lot more restocks of it compared to chapter one. Um, chapter one now is pretty easy to get, so we'll see how that goes as time passes. So in the meantime, I'm going to see videos like this in the future. Like, comment, and subscribe. Welcome to the new year. Help us hit our goals. We're going to look our next milestone to 750 subscribers. May do another giveaway, may not. It just depends. But uh, we have goals that we would like to hit as well. And as well as get the content that you guys like to see. So give us your recommendation on content and some advice that you would like to give us or some healthy criticisms or just say we suck in the comments. I could care less. But uh, anything that's worthy of criticism or uh, improvement, let us know. And if you just want to be uh, mean, uh, well, we'll take that too. Uh, but you might get some clap back as well from that. So without further ado, let's get these things open. So <coughs> we're going to start with the Luminous Trove because the Luminous Trove is pretty self-explanatory and standard. Uh, it's really just a storage box. It does have a guidebook in it for the collection, um, some tokens, uh, some deck boxes that, I mean, unless you're just really on a budget or a child, um, no one is going to use. <laughs> so not even gonna, not even going to try to front that one. So the box within a box. Um, but it also has, I believe, eight booster packs inside of it as well. And plus, I can actually use this for the storage of my Chapter 2. Um, sorry about that. I received a phone call out of nowhere. Um, it'll be used for the Chapter 2 uh, stuff. And so, yeah, here we go. I lost my train of thought. A random phone call just hit, and I just got distracted just that fast. So we have our player's guidebook, followed by all this filler stuff. So the two cardboard um, deck boxes for Rhea and Cinderella. I'm just going to go ahead and put those to the side because we're not going to use those. Uh, damage tokens, and that pretty much covers that out of here. And then, of course, the most prized possession out of here is the eight booster packs that come inside of here. All eight of those. I'm gonna put those to the side. Put the box to the side for a second. <clears throat> we'll just take a quick look at the player's guide. Um, one thing I do like about the player's guide is that it gives you some like information and some lore stuff in terms of uh, the story of the set. And then last but not least, it also gives you some card details and some of the uh, best cards, some combos to kind of run with, which is really nice. Um, of course, it identifies all the rarities, and then it gives you a list, uh, a checklist for you to see what cards you pulled and which ones you did not. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, pretty nice. 
it's nice little to have. If you use the, if you use the mobile app, they did update the app so that way you can um you can see what uh, what cards you have and you can archive your cards that way. Um, it could be a little bit better and nicer, but it's still there. So I do like the fact that they updated the app. The only thing I need them to update now is for uh, to allow it to be able to get out of a game without having to hit the tw uh, hit the twenty uh, lore markers or um, adding more players than just one or two. That'd be nice, but we'll see how that time goes. But uh, let's crack these things open. So we got Sleepy, Chimney Cricket, Bo, Verana, uh, Corella Deville, uh, Magic Broom, followed by Dopey, Launch, Rhea. First super rare, which is Queen the Queen, and another super rare, Lady, uh, Lady Tremaine. And then another super rare, so three super rares, Cashier, Cat, and Foil. So this pack already came came in hot, came in with three super rares in one pack. Not bad, let's go with the other one. We've got seven more to go with this one before we go ahead and crack the D100 open. Usually I would crack open the packs last. The last time I did this, I opened up the packs last, but because the D100 is a little bit more special, I'm gonna just save that one completely for last. Uh, Sleepy, Merlin the Crab, Go the Distance, Radigan, Gumbo Pot, Charge, Elila Boof, Donald Duck, Sardine Can, Grand Duke, Hiram Fallowerth, followed by a Foil Beast. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Let's keep it moving. And I don't know what they did with these packs, but these ones are actually opening up quite smooth compared to the other ones. That in my hands, I've finally developed the muscle memory to open these things properly, which they will lose in the, in the coming weeks. <coughs> the Queen, Chip the Teacup, Balloon, Improvise, The Knock, Let the Storm Rage On, Rapunzel, Madame Mim, The Most Diabolical Scheme, uh, Shere Khan, followed by Super Rare Queen, and a foiled mouse armor. Look, a lot of supers out of these packs, which I am not mad at. I need supers. I, I need to see. I need to see Peter Pan. <laughs> or Peter Pan Shadow, to be exact. Peter Pan Shadow is like I said. I could have swore I thought it was a rare. Pulled it and it turned out to be a super rare. So I definitely need quite a few of those at some point in time. Rapunzel, Cusco, uh, Peter Pan's dagger, Enchantress. Duke, uh, Duke, Easel, uh, Weasel, uh, Duke Weaselton, <coughs> can't speak, uh, Hercules, Jafar, Belle, the Bookworm, Fairy Godmother, Wait Set, followed by Mad of Mim the Legendary. This might be the second one we pulled. I still haven't checked to see if we pulled it out of the blister pack, but what a great legendary pull, Madam Mim. And followed by a foil, Go the Distance. The, hey, the Trove is hitting so far. We got a pack with three supers in it, um, and we pulled so far probably the top tier legendary in the set. So we're doing quite well so far. And this is this is why people are hunting for the trolls. Their, their pulls are better than trolls apparently, but that's that's debatable. I can't promise that. I'm not going to guarantee that because it's not 100 percent true. <clears throat> it is it's just luck. Um, until Ravenburger confirms, but if they confirm that, that means trolls would be like gone. People would like buy trolls up. It's not like they're already not buying them up uh, the wazoo for reselling purposes, but if they've came out and said blatantly that, hey, the trolls have a higher pull rate um, than <clears throat> the booster boxes, uh, trolls would be $200 and you would not be able to find them to save your lives. So. Um, we're just going to leave that to the court of public opinion. Um, so far, this is the second trove I'm opening because I've opened one for chapter one. Chapter one was a very good pull set. Chapter two seems to be doing quite well right now as well. <clears throat> Painting the Town Red, Dr. Facilier, Minnie Mouse, Panic, Nothing to Hide, Jafar, Pick a Fight, Daisy Duck, Cogsworth, Mrs. Judson, Perplexing Sign, and followed by Radigan the Foil. How many packs we got left? Two. Two before we hit the star of the show, the real star of the show, and that would be the lovely D100 set. <clears throat> all right, we got Grumpy. I'm stuck. I still need to see if I have all seven dwarves. I still have yet to actually look to see if I have 
pulled all the seven dwarves. I'm pretty positive by now I should have them all because I was only missing, I think, two. Uh, the Shiftable Pinocchio, the Uncommon, the Queen of Hearts, uh, Le Maire, King Louis, another Super, and Bounce in Foil. Put a lot of Supers out of these packs. <coughs> Which is not the one I want. I want to see a purple foil. I want to see a purple Super in the name of Peter Pan Shadow. That's the one I want to see. That's the one I want. Those are the ones I need. Snow White, Winnie the Pooh. Felicia, Queen of Hearts. Uh-oh, I put Lemire in the wrong spot. I'm like, where's Green? Green's here. James, Cinderella, The Prince, Pain Again, Binding Contract, Strength of the Raging Fire, Legendary Donald Duck. We pulled another Legendary. <clears throat> and then a Gumbo Pie in a Foil. So that takes care of the Lumineers Trove. Um, once again, these are... Oof, Pulls are greater now. But now, let's get to the star of the show. And I'm going to open this off camera because it's kind of big. And how it was packed the last time, I'm pretty positive it'll be kind of a little pain in the ass to get open to. And this is super glued shut. Okay, come on. There we go. I'm like, man, I don't know what glue they used for this one, but man, they used it. <laughs> they, they sat back and said, we want you to collect this. We don't want you to open it. <laughs> which would be, which is oddly hilarious. And then this one comes with no, that, so everything's in this little side compartment again. They gave you this giant black container and they kind of... I love how all of this is filler. And then there's a promo pack. Otherwise, this thing is empty. They didn't even give you any counters to this one. They could have gave you some special D100 counters. We'll open that one last. And then we have the four booster packs that just came with. So let's crack those open real quick before we get to the promos themselves. Schedule two. Okay, I'll be out soon. all types of text messages and things saying, hey, do this, hey, do that. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. Elsa, Tigger, Hypnotize, Rabbit, Piglet, uh, Cinderella, You Can Fly, Pick a Fight, Daisy Duck, uh, Chief Bogo, I don't remember this card or seen this card before. It's a Dreamborn, but okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Lucifer, and a foil Grand Pabby, which is a super rare. So far, like I said, for some odd reason, I said, like, I don't know if it's just the luck of these packs or, or what, but it seems like these packs are just slightly better in terms of what you're getting out of them. All right, moving on. We got Merlin. Uh, Bow. I feel like, wait a minute, I feel like yellow should have been the first card. Did I not pull a card out of here? No. Hmm, that's odd. Maybe this is one card short? We'll see. Sneezing. Yeah, this is weird. <laughs> Maybe it was, I guess it was just misaligned. Because like I say, the first card is always yellow. So it's kind of odd to see that that wasn't the case. Pinocchio. Followed by Dragon's Gem. Another Grand Pabby. So like the 5,000 one of that. Followed by a Foiled Arthur, the green one. Not the purple one. Moving on to the next pack. I say I guess that was just a, a slightly missed pack because <clears throat> the packs are usually organized by color, starting from the, uh, the amber all the way to steel. So you're supposed to get one of each color, and then once you get into the uncommons, that's when it kind of tears off. This one's the same way. Hmm. It's weird. So maybe these are just slightly missed pack. Yeah, they're slightly missed packed. I'll take it. <laughs> I will take it. I'm just like, usually the first card is always yellow. These ones are purple, so. Hmm. Another pain. And no. And standard Madam M followed by Kronk in a foil. I think we've already got one of those Kronks in a foil. Last pack magic. Let's see what we get out of here. <clears throat> Survey says, last pack magic. We have the Legend of the Sword. So yeah, all of these packs are for, I guess they've just been mispacked. 
I'll take it, it's fine. Enchantress, another Paw Sickle. Painting the Town Red. Benji. Uh, Binding Contract. Caterpillar. Last Stand. Radigan. Uh, Namiru, which is super. Followed by Paka as a foil. So, we pulled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight supers with a couple foils in there, um, which is pretty, almost one per pack. That's not too bad. But now, let's get to the real show. The promo pack, which actually has the alternate art with the artist's signatures on them. <clears throat> let's get to these bad boys and see how these are. So now we have our very first card, and these look like Enchantus, which is really, really cool about them. So there's Min um, Mickey Mouse. And I see what they did is instead they just put the Disney 100 logo at the bottom of here, as opposed to just putting uh, their, their rarities type. So you have to kind of figure that out. But this is the legendary Mickey that's in set two. And then we got Elsa, which is also a alternate art. And these look fantastic. I love this more silvery foil to them. It's like, these don't have the same cold foil effect that the regular foils have. These look like just standard holographic cards because one, they are alt arts, <coughs> but they do look fantastic. We're going to put Mickey Mouse over here. We're going to look at Elsa, followed by Genie, who is a shift six with evasive. This is the legendary Genie from set one. So there he is on that one. Or is he super rare? I think he might be a super rare. I don't think he's a legendary. I'll have to double check that one, but he's from set one. So we got two from set two. This is from set one. Stitch, I believe he's from set one as well. He's just the standard six, four, six. <clears throat> very cartoony looking, but also very cool. Maleficent, a five, three, six in blue. So this is another one from set one. Followed by my man Maui, eight, eight in steel. So those are all the alt arts in that one. Great additions for the binder. I might get these graded, to be wholeheartedly honest, and have them on display. I'm definitely going to put these... Uh, they're either going to go in the binder or they're going to be graded. One or the other. I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. Um, I don't even know what they're worth um, or if people are just selling the floors cheaper because of the boxes or whatever's going on or if the box or better yet If I can probably get my hands on another box or to see how much the foils are selling for because the foils are selling for a relatively uh, decent price I'll just go ahead and buy another set of foils for the binder and then I'll probably grade those But I don't know what I'm gonna do with those yet. I'll figure that out in the future But in the meantime if you like this video like comment and subscribe uh, Thank you for watching on that one. It's been a pleasure opening that one at least getting my hands on it. Um, Tell me what. Uh, tell tell me which I, you guys think I should do. Should I just leave them in the binder, or should I get them graded? Uh, more than likely, because uh, if I get them graded, then I'm gonna have to see if I can give me another copy to put in the binder. Um, I haven't really decided that yet. But if you guys think I should grade them, I am gonna be submitting cards this year to grade, um, and I'll probably do a video on that process as well as what the cards I graded were and their results um, sometime later in the year. It does. If, unless you decide to pay the service fee to get them graded faster. That does take a, quite a few months, so I haven't decided what cars I'm gonna get sent to grade it yet. So when I do that, that probably won't be until maybe middle of the year or closer to the fall, more or, le uh, more or less. We'll see how that whole thing goes. But uh, let me know in the comments if I should grade them or not. And how, however you guys decide, if I get more grades than not grades, uh, then I'll just figure it out at some point in time. Or if I get lucky and find myself with another box, then I'll go ahead and just send them out to get graded and then put the other ones in the binder. But in the meantime, new here, like, comment, and subscribe. Be on the lookout for more future videos on this hack. We do have a lot more OCG Yu-Gi-Oh! boxings, some stuff coming in the future, as well as set three coming out in February. Uh, more news on that will be to come, pass or playlist, and a bunch of other things coming. So in the meantime, King Zeph here. No time to explain. Till next time, I'm out.